good on view as well. This power point's all nice and restored, put back together. Got it installed in this smart meter. I did a little load test on it. And the uh, communications module doesn't work. The smart meter won't pick it up. So what I think may be wrong, because this is all surface mount lead free solder crap, when they flow their set of bloody uh, oven to flow the solder, I reckon half the components didn't solder properly. So if I put one out of here and run it over the heat gun or put it in a low oven, bake it for a bit and help reflow the solder, I bet that uh, module will work again. Oh, that aside, and we can start having some fun with this NST. I've made another bloody saltwater capacitor. I had this on video, but uh, when I went to process the video, the bloody um, card took a shit and I lost all the bloody footage. And you can see that it was, yeah, lost some good footage, but you can see where the arc drew and it actually melted the glass. And on this one. I had these in a series, but I didn't get much of an effect. But put them in parallel like this, and boy did I get a thunderstorm. Literally, it's just awesome. Alright, let's plug it in and give it a test. Let's listen to some snappy, thundery lightning arcs, or sparks. Yeah, you can see how bloody loud that is. That's literally a lightning and thunderstorm. It's a close up of the damage of the bottles there. It's a shame I lost that footage. It just arced straight like through the glass. As the glass was hot, it became conductive and it heated it up, and that's basically what it did. Etched the glass, and same with this one. Some bubbles still coming out of this one. Got some, got some elect electrolysis um, action happening there. That's what the water's discolouring from that uh, copper uh, um, cord there. Big earthing cable. Let's put one of these smart mini communication modules across it. Probably not going to do much, but we'll see what happens. Very bright and loud. That is loud. Yeah, burnt the circuit board a bit. It's all volts and no amps, so so it's not really going to do much damage. That's where you want a mot, which has got both loads of current and volts to destroy and cook. This has just got loads of volts, but it's still pretty interesting. I might as well take this little uh, shield off and see what's under it. Probably not much to um, pop under this. Got that shield off. You can see little chips in there. Texas Instruments. 0 aa -E -G -T -G 4 underlined m 43 f 2418 t Provision H. CC 2420, this little one here. There you go. You can see what it all says. There you go. It looks better on the camera. I can see better on through the lens. Connector there. It's also all bent. No, no, not 2011. So it's September now, so it's about a year old. Bloody modern day electronics, it just don't last. Here's what I've arced to it previously. The previous uh, recording, which uh, 
unfortunately got lost. Good quality substrate material. Might just put a thing on that, make a keyring out of it actually. Be a good keyring. A big tag, a card so you don't get things lost. Not much to these bloody things. Alright, let's continue flying it and that one. Oh, cute. That cat didn't seem scared of the um, thunderstorm. Hey, oh, cute. Hey, yeah. Nice, well, nice and warm in there, aren't you? Good cat. And you also see if anything else flies on this board. Oh, what? No way! I'm plug safety first. Ugh. Bit of the trolliser section there. Oh, that didn't just pop off. What steam, it wasn't even very warm. Hmm, I'll have to squid that lid on tighter, I think. There you go, it burnt that. It burnt against the lid there. Chips are still intact. Alright, they're gonna need the mot to finish off. Let's try a fluorescent light. There you go. Better cross it and see what that does. See what this does. Okay. Now let's see what it does. Nothing much different at all. Alright, let's put it directly in the circuit where the capacitors in series and see what that does. Alright, let's see what this does. Hmm, good spark, yep. Yeah. There you go. No plausible effect on there. Oh, got a bit of a shock off that. Sort of corona, the magnetic field. You get a tiny little shock when you hold your finger on there. You have to be very careful doing these sorts of experiments. Oh, that smells ozone and foil. It's like when you chew on a ball of foil, put a foil in your mouth, you get that reaction of that taste of it. Well, that reminds me of the smell that's giving off. That's good thunder capacitors, those are. Alright, let's finish these off with the mic. Okay, just before I get this setup going, I'm going to use this old ballast today. So. Haven't used that in a while. I love this bloody crackling. It's awesome. Can't get enough of it. You have to, in real life, it's actually a lot louder and brighter and more like lightning. The camera just picks up as just a mess. And interference in the um, audio. You have to be in real life to appreciate it. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, see, that's a hot arc there, that's sparking. Got warm the water here. That's just bloody awesome, I just love it. All right. Let's mop these boards. It feels like the one of the other idea. 
hadn't registered much yet. I barely had it turned on. Didn't put much of a load in it. Power factor 1. 0 watts. So I make it so it shows me how much watts I'm pulling. Power's on. It's a good thing about a smart one. You can just put it any position you want without having um, needing much to hang it on. Works at any angle. Let that fry. That was getting hot. First mini bloody meter. Okay. 5.29 amps. 0.89 is my power factor. 884 watts I was drawing. Alright, I was drawing 884 watts doing that. Electric. There you go. Another electric to get bang. Took it. This shit is bloody camera holding it properly. Miss Aaron, some of the bloody good bits. I've got a dragging capacity here. So we're shooting out fire and smoke. There we go, shot out some flames. Nothing much on this at all. Five amps. What's that one there saying? Yeah, that one is about alright. That's my analog one there. Point nine two power factor. Eight hundred and forty eight watts. It's a reading on that one. So I'm drawing around nine hundred watts in this setup. Heat coming off that thing. Foil. Okay, viewers, turn off, turn off, unplug safety first. Oh, a lot of heat coming off that. Alright. Didn't register anything on there. I'm almost got like a record, the highest I've pulled of amps. No. I suppose that's one good thing about smart meter, it tells the exact wattage I'm pulling. Okay, if you as well, let's have a look at these. Sorry, a bit hot there. Blow a tracer there, I'll have a nice bit of glass. There's some small pop components. Inductor there's all right. There you go. Landis and Gaia, Landis and Fryer. I've fried it. Mm, there you go. That's enough for now, so thanks for watching.